Another Aegil Pora bug. Hello, all bugquesters. It is I, Aaron the Bugquester, back from Jeju Island to my usual place with this bug. After the funeral by Agatha Christie herself, and well, let's get right on to it. So, another Aegil Pora mystery. Let's start. Richard Abenasi was a rich man, and he died suddenly, quite suddenly, in sleep. The next, and then in his funeral, Cora, how do you, how would you say this? Cora Lansquinet. That's that's. Uh, hopefully, I pronounced that right. If you, if I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, Cora, Cora. Let's just call her Cora. She says out loud, "It's been hushed up very nicely, hasn't it? But he was murdered, wasn't he?" And Cora says this, and now obviously, all the people they are like. Cora, because Cora is that sort of person. You see, she says these uncomfortable truths that always seem to have some ounce of truth within them. And that made Mr. Enwistle, the family solicitor or family lawyer, a bit uneasy. And he felt as if that usually when Cora says things, she says them for a reason. And Cora always seems to have at least a tiny grain of truth within her speech. So if Cora says that Richard Abenasi may have been murdered, she must believe that it is so. Next day, Cora is found dead, murdered with a hatchet within her house, which is obviously a, not a good indicator. And meanwhile, Mr. And meanwhile, the police is saying, it looks like some hooligan just came in and stabbed her. I mean, just pounded on her with, a, with an axe while she was asleep. However, however, strangely, nothing was taken. And the things that were taken, and there were many taken things anyway, was, fa was found under a bush right next to the door. That indicates that this person obviously targeted Cora, killed her, and then try to make it look like daylight robbery, which is concerning. Mr. M was is just very, very disturbed by all of this. Meanwhile, Helen, who is Richard's, the guy who died, um, Uncle Richard's, Uncle Richard's sister. She, meanwhile, when Cora had said that line about how it's been hushed up very nicely, hasn't it? But he was murdered. Um, Helen felt that there's something wrong with that situation, something wrong, and she felt it, but she couldn't place what it is. Meanwhile, Mr. Enwistle, after Cora's murder, calls up Poirot, saying that, saying all these rambling stories, and Poirot, who says, well, this, this is an interesting case. And Poirot, with his usual fashion, goes in and starts investigating George, Mr. Crossfield. He loves the casino, really likes gambling, and has pretty bad judgement. A possible murderer right there. Shame. An attractive person, an attractive actor, fond of money and woman. Miss Shane. A bit of an airhead, but then a basin mind may sometimes be the most cunning. Mr. Banks who is self-proclaimed a mad, and once when a man said jokingly, wish you, wish you could sell me something that, that I could kill my wife with, and apparently Mr. Banks, not in a joking tone, mind you, said very quietly, I could, but it would cost you £200. Mrs. Banks, who is cool-headed and efficient, born to succeed, uh, definitely a possible murderer. She can make a plan and carry it out calmly and efficiently. Mr. and Mrs. Abernathy. Mr. Abernathy being uh, Richard Abernathy's brother. He is hot-headed, a bit greedy. He calls himself an invalid, but he can. he's capable of really aggressive acts, and he was always jealous of his brother. So therefore, it is possible that the murder was committed by him. Or if it is, is even a murder for that matter. Mrs. Abernathy, 
she's very gentle. However, she is very, very protective of Mr. Abernathy. So, for her husband, she may have done it. And we have all these suspects. And meanwhile, 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 Pora also talks to Mrs. Gilstrist, who is companion to Cora in her house. And they talk, and apparently Mrs. Gilstrist, after Cora's murder, was sent a poisoned wedding cake in order to murder her. And it seems that Mrs. Gilstrist has overheard a conversation between Cora and the recently dead uncle Richard Abernathy. Who is the murderer? Is Uncle Richard's, Richard Abernathy's death a murder indeed? Or is it just some sort of diversion? Who murdered Cora Lang who murdered Cora Lansquinet? Was it a random hooligan looking for trouble? Was it a thief? Or was it a targeted intended murder from one of the various nieces and relatives that Uncle Richard that Richard Abnethy had so they could get more of a share to the will? Or perhaps Cora knew something that could reveal the actual murderer. Well, I can't tell you the ending to this story. I, I have to say, the format for this one, it was kind of sort of like The Death on Denial, except it was more like a watered-down version. The Death on Denial is actually more impactful than this one. However, I gotta say, it was a classic Agatha Christie move that revealed the hand who did it and plot twists and everything. And it is a great book, one of the best mystery books that I ever read. And like always, your book quester aren't the book quester. After the funeral, what happens after funerals? I mean, I usually get a bit depressed and then just sit in the corner and eat, eat things. And, uh, yeah, okay, bye.